Hello all, welcome to the next video here in the Onion Man's Rooftop Food and Cow Caravan of Treasure. Sometimes barter, that street continues, you know it always will. Sorry, I'm in a funny mood. Um, like right before I started recording this, I just started remembering like something old, like one of those memories that just comes back and you lose it. Yeah, that's what that was. Um, anyway, I was making fun of the name Squeeze. I was thinking of Nacho Libre and I got the Squeeze. <laughs> It got me. It got me good. Anyway, we're with Squeeze, Fang, Fangor, and Spycor. And, uh, yeah, Mo Masters of the Universe Origins, The Return. Uh, so we got the two out of the latest series, which I've lost track of series so far. Squeeze and Spycor, I believe, are part of the same set. I might be wrong. No, they are. Okay. Um, and then Fangor, which is the uh, Mattel Creations exclusive, the Mattel website exclusive, which came in a cool little mailer type box, so had some really cool, like, classic comic book style Fangor artwork on it, the front, the back, and then, yeah, pretty cool box, but, um, oh, and then the figure's also different, so I guess we'll start with him, why not, um, so, uh, Fangor came in a really cool box, this is like a plastic covering, the comic is like on the back in a little baggie, um, the mini comic, and then you have... This, which I guess is just for collecting purposes, like you can just slide them out, take them out, and there you go. Um, but I'm probably not going to keep it. It's cool as a collector's item and everything, and it's like on a thicker card stock and all that, but that's not something I really feel the need to keep. Apologies, oh, i got a trash bag set up. Uh, collecting tip number one, especially if you're unboxing stuff. It may make a little noise, but I've learned it's great to have a trash can nearby. Or not a trash can, but a... Trash bag or something. So there you go. Hmm. First thing out, we have his actual tusks, which is pretty cool. Or fangs. I, there's tusk ore as well. Um. Anyway, yeah. We'll put those on here in a minute. Ooh, ooh. He's got, he doesn't. He's got twist ties. Twist ties be damned. I have scissors. I haven't got to say that in a while. Oh, and then like a, the random ones on the leg, uh, on the feet. Ah, oh, he slipped out of that stuff. And then behind him were his accessories. So he has like a kind of scimitar looking sword. Um, again, very just plain color. It is Motu Classics. So they are Origins. And he's got like a golden wrench that kind of looks like a snake. It's pretty cool. And here is Fangor. Boom. He looks pretty good. The jaw does not open and close. Uh, but he has all the same articulation every other one of these has. I'm happy we finally got some new molds. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of reuse. But like I like the shin guard molds. Um, I like the armor mold. New head. All that kind of stuff. It's not just a swapped repaint or anything. There's actually some new pieces to it. Which I really can appreciate. Especially for an exclusive. You want to do something better. Um... I'm guessing these things pop out. Uh, yep, there you go. It's like he's got dentures. Uh, and there you go. So you can display them either way. Um, if I guess, you know, if you want them to just be Fangor, there you go. Um, okay, we'll do Spikor. We'll do the rhyming name. Uh, anyway, yeah, I love this Masters of the Universe Origins line. You get a little instruction manual. If you're not familiar with Masters of the Universe Origins, I shouldn't even say it's an instruction manual. It's just a... They're all swappable. Parts are swappable. So I could put these arms on Fangor if I wanted to. Or I could put Spikor's head on Fangor's body. So it tells you, like, the cod piece, the feet, the arms, and the head are all removable and interchangeable with every other Motu Origin figure. Um, so, pretty cool. Uh... But I love this line. Obviously, Masters of the Universe way before my time. But um, I love collecting this line. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, even though there's still some that I want that I haven't been able to find. Like Duplico. Um, it was Walmart exclusive. There's a couple of the Mattel exclusives that uh, I did not get to in time. Okay, I think I got all the twist ties here.
Apologies for that. He had like a couple of accessories that did not want to come out of the back there. Okay, so we have our spike ore. Uh, this guy's actually pretty pokey, but these are like rubber spikes, so they move a little bit. There's a little give. The head's a little bit of a heart, but it's still a rubber, but it's a little bit of a harder rubber. Um, I like him. He's cool. A lot of reuse, obviously, on pretty much everything except for like the head and the chest piece, obviously. Um, but he looks really cool. Uh, I like him. Kind of reminds me of a, like, I don't know, I guess Pinhead would be the prime example. Um, or any of y'all remember after Civil War there was Penance, which is what Speedball became. Horrible concept. He was basically a, a BDSM su uh, superhero, <laughs> but he had spikes all over him to in purposely induce pain because that's what triggered his powers now. Uh, anyways, I'm on a tangent. Uh, he's got his little robot arm here. He also comes with an orange mace. We've seen this before. It's just repainted. Um, and then he's got a shorter, like, kind of extendo thing. Like, this is it extended. This is it short. So there you go. Um, pretty cool. Uh, stands well. So there you go. Fangor. Oh, straighten out his feet a little bit. I'm sure he'll stand fine. These have always stood really well. Yeah. Yep, good. Um... And then, of course, we have his mini-comic, The Fading Fortress, uh, with Squeeze on the cover. So, I don't know why I just did that. Right there. And last up, we got Squeeze. I guess I saved this one for last just because he's so gimmicky and I love it. I love these gimmicky ones. Uh, but yeah, Evil Longed Arm Viper. Um, we got the back. There's that cool artwork up top and everything. Yeah, let's get him open. Again, another one of those, like, uh, not instructions, but shows you what parts are removable. Let's take a look at Squeeze. Yeah, pretty much everything, including the long arms, which is kind of fun. So, that's actually cool. That'd be, that'd be funny to put those on a few different guys. Um, I miss having a trash bag. I'm glad I brought it back. Okay... What else? Really? That's all the little twist ties he had? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, no. He had some on the arms. I thought I cut that one. Hey, apologies for that. That took way longer than it needed. Um, okay. He comes with a kind of snake whip type of thing. I don't know if it's a whip or not. It's actually very hard. It's like a hard plastic. Um, I don't know. It kind of looks like a whip. It could just be a normal snake too. Like a purple snake. Uh, we have the mini comic, same one as the one with uh, Spike Ore. And then we got Squeeze. Um, interesting kind of concept here, but I really dig it. I'll show you why here. Oh, he's got a loose head joint. Uh, anyway, there you go. And the what I like about this is the arms are posable. Boom. Nice. I like it. And they do come off. Uh, giving me real... Like, I, I get, the obvious answer would be Mr. Fantastic, but like some Piccolo vibes, some Piccolo arm stretches in Dragon Ball Z. Um, the head is very wonky, like, loose. Yeah, he's got some D'Lo Brown stuff going on here. Uh, but I do like the mold. I like the chest with the piece here. Kind of gives him, like, armor through the arms. Uh, have we hit, I, know, I don't think we've had these legs before, so that's kind of cool. Or these boots. This looks like it's a decent amount of new stuff, which is nice. Uh, I do like the snake eyes on them. The texture is really cool. Again, it's ma it's Master's Origins. You don't need a whole lot going on. Let's see if he stands. That's going to be a big issue with this figure. Yeah, he's so front heavy. He's not even going to be worth trying to stand. Your best bet's probably to either like raise the arms up to balance him out, or use the arms to stand him. Like that kind of works. Um, so there you go. Uh, three really good figures. I l ah man. 
Squeeze I love because of the gimmicky nature. Spike Or would probably be my least favorite. Um, even though it's like a cool design, I think there's like the least going on with it. Squeeze, I love the gimmickiness of it, but you know, uh, just like the kind of standing issues, wonky head joint on mine. Obviously, I think uh, Fangor here is the best one of this bunch out of these three, just because he's got like some of that little extra detail you expect in the Mattel exclusives and everything. So pretty cool. Um, as for like all three, I'm going to give all three a thumbs up. I think they're all really good. I love collecting this line, especially because it's like before my time and everything. So I really enjoy it. Um, and I like these. I love these more gimmicky characters. That's what I love about the Origins line and Masters Universe in general and Ninja Turtles and all these old lines is the gimmicky nature of everything. It's so fun. Um, so yeah. Awesome. That's it for this video. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Obviously, you do not have to if you do not want to. But as always, I will appreciate anybody who does. And thank you. I will catch you guys in the next video.